Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to a very interesting article in the March issue of the journal. Uh, this article by Halperin uh, et al. Uh, seeks to clarify a number of misconceptions about Lyme disease. As you know, acute Lyme disease is the result of infestation with a spirochete Borrelia burgdorferi. And the acute illness is quite severe and patients are very symptomatic, but fortunately there's excellent antibiotic therapy that eradicates the spirochete. For a number of years there's been debate that even after successful antibiotic therapy, some patients might continue to harbor some organisms and form uh, that would develop into a chronic form of the illness. Well, um, in fact, uh, there's been a number of studies in this area, some sponsored by the NIH, excellent double-blind, randomized controlled trials, and the Institute of Medicine, our very highest authority in the country on medical subjects, has also studied the question. Halpern et al., uh, who are experts uh, in this disease, have reviewed all of this information, and their conclusion is that there is no uh, disease that's related to chronic infestation um, with this organism as long as people have been successfully treated with antibiotics. Now, there are a number of individuals who develop symptoms even after successful treatment. And there's been a great debate as to why these individuals have these symptoms. It's still not totally clear, and there will continue to be research in this area, but it appears that these individuals have either an autoimmune activation, such as, for example, seen in patients with lupus, or that the symptoms are psychosomatic, but they are not such that one need give prolonged episodes of antibiotic therapy once a single successful course of antibiotics has been concluded. I hope everybody will read and think about this article. It's a very interesting one uh, and I recommend it to you strongly.